Hello everyone, I am Risha and this is For the Love of Classics. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another book haul. This is my second book haul during quarantine and I'm going on a book buying ban. I really need to stop buying more books because I am spending all of my money on books. I might end up buying one more book this year which would be for Victober but other than that I'm not going to be buying any more books. I have a total of six new books. All six of these books are classics. They are all very unique and different from each other. So the first book which I got is The Plague by Albert Camus. This is a classic written about an epidemic. I have been meaning to buy this book since COVID-19 pandemic began. I wanted to get this book now because of the pandemic we are living through. This book was originally written in French. It was published in the year 1849. I got myself an English translation and this translation is by Stuart Gilbert. Albert Camus was awarded a Nobel Prize in Literature in the year 1947, which is pretty cool. So I've already started reading this book and I'm currently on page number 30. The story is set in Oran, which is a town in North Africa. And in the beginning of the book, we see this doctor who is going to various patients. And while he is visiting these patients, he sees a lot of dead rats around the town. That's a sign that something is coming. So the author has based this book loosely on the cholera epidemic in the year 1849. So far, I'm really enjoying the book and I can predict that it is going to be a five star book. The writing in the book seems pretty similar to Franz Kafka's writing. And I really feel like this is the best time to read it since we are living through a pandemic. And I think I'm going to find this book so much more relatable now. This is a modern classic about existentialism. So I am really excited to read this because I have been waiting for this book for five months. So the second book which I got is Lady Audley's Secret by Mary Elizabeth Braddon in the Penguin English Library Edition. And I love the cover of this book. It has got teapots and teacups on it and tea is my favorite beverage. So I'm really excited. <laughs> This is a Victorian classic. It is a sensational novel. It was originally published in the year 1862. Mary Elizabeth Braddon wrote almost 75 novels and she was very famous at the time. This is one of her most famous books and I'm really excited to read it. In this outlandish, outrageous triumph of scandal fiction, a new Lady Audley arrives at the manor. Young, beautiful and very mysterious, why does she behave so strangely? What exactly is the dark secret the seductive outsider carries with her? A huge success in the 19th century, the book revels in an anti-heroine with her good looks and hidden past who embodied perfectly the concerns of the Victorian age with morality and madness. There is also a film adaptation of Lady Audley's Secret which came out in the year 2000 so I'm going to watch that after I read this and I think I'll probably get to this book in October this year. Mary Elizabeth Braddon also wrote Aurora Floyd which I think is a follow-up of this book if I'm not mistaken. So if I enjoy this then I would definitely read the next book as well. So the third book which I got is a Persephone classic and this is going to be my first Persephone classic ever. I'm really excited to have bought one. I got Milton Place by Elizabeth D. Wall. Elizabeth D. Wall was born in Vienna. She wrote five novels and none of them got published. This novel Milton Place was rejected by three publishers and it was not until the year 2013 that Persephone Books decided to publish her work. She wrote it in the year 1960, so it is a 20th century work. The book is set in the year 1950. It is a story about a young girl called Anita who moves from Austria to England after the Second World War, I think. And she starts living there in a country house with an older man called Mr. Barlow. That's pretty much all I got from um, what I could find about this book. Mr. Barlow has two daughters. They get a bit suspicious of the companionship between Anita and Mr. Barlow, who is their father. So the thing which intrigued me about this book would be the plot because it sounds really different from what 
I'm used to and also because it is a Persephone classic and it is uh, one of those rarely heard ones so I'm glad that I don't know much about this the book is gorgeous it has these end papers and uh, a dust jacket which comes off it also smells like magazines uh, which is pretty cool I love the paper quality I love everything about the book and I really hope that I like the contents of the book as well so this is the third book which I got I'm really excited about the next three books which I'm about to show you it is a gift box of the Iliad the Odyssey and the Aeneid all three of them translated by Robert Fegels they are the Penguin Deluxe Editions and I'm super excited about them. Originally, I was thinking of buying the Iliad only because I'm currently reading it and I needed a good translation. But when I found this box set, I thought it would be a good investment to buy all three at once because I know I want to read all three of them one day. So I got the box set and I'm so happy because now all three of them are going to match. So let's talk about the Iliad first. So I already had the Iliad in the Collins Classics edition. It was translated in verse by Alexander Pope, but I was not enjoying the translation. After much consideration, I decided to invest in a good translation because I really want to get the best experience I can of reading the Iliad. It is one of the first pieces of ancient literature I am reading and I'm really excited about it. I've heard that this translation is more modern. Uh, the reviews for this translation were really good. This translation is said to be plain and direct, noble, above all rapid, leading the reader forward with an irresistible flow, more readable than Latimer or Fitzgerald, and more performable. So for any of you who do not know, the Iliad is an epic poem which was originally written in ancient Greek. By Homer. The best thing about this Penguin Deluxe Edition is that it has a good introduction, it has a translator's preface, it has got maps, it has notes for every verse at the back, it also has notes on translation, pronouncing, glossary and all things which would help a beginner like me and it's also very pretty. So I'm really happy I got this book. So the Iliad is set during the Trojan Wars. There was a 10 year siege of the city of Troy by the Greeks. All of this started because the Prince of Troy, Paris, took the Queen of Sparta from Greece. And thus this 10 year war started between these two nations. This was written in the form of a poem. It's an epic poem and it has been translated into English for many years now. It is considered to be one of the oldest pieces of Western literature. Even though the Iliad is about the Trojan War, which took place over the course of 10 years, but this book covers a few weeks of this period. It is thought that this book was originally written during 8th century BC and Homer is attributed to the Iliad. It is believed that Homer used to sing this to his audiences and it was later put down to paper. So the Iliad is supposed to have a sequel. The sequel to the Iliad is the Odyssey. The Odyssey is also attributed to Homer. The story is about a Greek hero Odysseus. After the Trojan War, Odysseus goes back home to Greece but it takes him 10 long years and this story is about those 10 years of his journey. The Odyssey has come to be known as an epic voyage because this was a long journey for Odysseus. This is also written in the form of verse and I'm glad to have this edition because again it comes with introduction, good notes, maps and all things which a novice like me needs while reading classical literature. And the third book in the box set is the Aeneid by Virgil. This is another epic poem. This was originally written in Latin as compared to those other two which were written in ancient Greek. Virgil was a Roman poet and he has written three famous poems and the Aeneid is one of them. This book also takes place after the fall of Troy and it continues the story from there of Aeneas. Fleeing the ashes of Troy, Aeneas Achilles' mighty foe in the Iliad begins an incredible journey to fulfill his destiny. His voyage will take him through stormy seas, entangle him in a tragic love affair and lure him into the world of the dead itself. 
all the way tormented by the vengeful Juno, queen of the gods. Ultimately, he reaches the promised land of Italy, where after bloody battles and with high hopes, he found the Roman people. An unsparing portrait of a man caught between love, duty and fate, the Aeneid redefines passion, nobility and courage for our times. This edition again has maps, great introduction and also notes on translation, pronunciation. It was first translated in English in the year 1697 from ancient Latin. So the story was started in the Iliad, is continued in the Odyssey and the Aeneid and all three of these editions will match on my shelf and I'm really excited about that. I did a lot of research regarding the translations for these pieces of classical literature and I finally decided to get Robert Fagel's translation because it is more modern and it would be easier for me to read it. There are also some other great translations available in the form of prose as well if you are not comfortable in reading poetry but I decided to go for this one. So these are all the new books which I got. I plan on not buying any more books at least for now. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please let me know down in the comments. Have you guys read any of these books? What do you think about them? Are you planning to read them in the future? I would love to hear back from you guys. That's it for now. I'm going to see you all in my next video very, very soon. Bye. The Plague by Albert Camus. Al the Plague. Uh, Albert Camus was award Albert Albert Camus was awarded a Nobel Albert Camus Albert Camus was awarded a Nobel Prize in Literature of the companionship with which their father by Homer. Um.